Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. Let's jump in for another run. Wow, I'm at a minus three streak. What the hell happened? I don't remember what I was doing last time um, I played. Uh, oh, I think that was one I recorded with Never Named and we were messing about for a while. But we got the Lost. Interesting indeed. I do quite like playing as the Lost. I think the normal Lost is actually a very, very strong character. Um, ooh, and we started with the map as well, because we had Eden's Blessing on our last run, uh, which is pretty awesome. Anyways, let's, uh, let's keep her going, and Butt Bombs, not quite good enough. Best Bud, definitely not good enough. Um, Butt Bombs is pretty good, and we don't have any bombs currently, so it's like, I kind of do see the value there, but at the same time, like, it's not the best of the best, so maybe try and roll for something a little bit better. I'm just going to pop this sun card now to find our secret room and then carry on with our soul of Eve, just because it's going to make our boss a little bit easier. Um, of course, we do have a 30% chance to lose the item when we're re-rolling here, but I think we got to try for something good. And so far, we are um, an absolute trash cow on a trash farm, because we are getting just really unlucky. <laughs> We've had um, quite a few bad items. I mean, Golden Razor Blade isn't that bad, but obviously it isn't active and there is no way I'm trading the Eternal D6. There's just no way. So um, that's unfortunate. We did get a Reflected. You can take Reflecteds for free as this dude, so we might as well do that. Um, reflected items, in fact, it makes a lot of sense for us to make sure we save this key and go to our downpour to make sure we can destroy the mirror get a bonus chance for reflected just because we can take them for free uh bonus chance for reflected is really good when they're free um okay not too bad of a room here gotta remember that the uh lost here does start with pretty basic stats compared to the tainted lost um i kind of always forget that but at the same time it's not that big of a deal uh we're gonna check our um our shop here which doesn't require a key, so we don't have to bomb into it, actually. I almost bombed into it, then. That's that's something I still always forget. That we don't we don't need to use keys for our shop anymore. Like, that's not a thing anymore. It's very nice to, uh... Very nice to keep, like, realising and remembering that. Whoa! That was very, very unexpected. Oh, god damn, that was close. Right. Ooh, bad options is pretty good for us here. So I do think we're going to try and get it. Now, we're going to have a little bit of a hard time getting it, just because we have the opportunity to get some money out of um, out of the keeper in here. Okay, there you go. As long as this guy drops us five cent, we're good. He didn't. Okay, we're probably not going to be able to afford it then, unfortunately. Which is a real shame, because uh, bad options is a very good item for anyone with reroll capabilities. Because it's going to spawn an extra zero quality item. But that zero quality item, when rerolled, will not still be zero quality. So, in that regard, it's uh, it's very, very good. I also kind of misplayed here. I should have gone back and um, used my charge before finishing this room. But, hey ho. Uh, I'm still going to try and get the money available to us here. I, I don't want to waste our opportunity to get bad options, if it's possible. But I think... Missing out on that uh, bit of money there, unfortunately, makes it very unlikely. Uh, let's go do another reroll. Oh, we do actually have quite a lot of fire in here, though, so let's not um, let's not give up yet. We've got a doubled heart there. It's a sticky nickel. Are you kidding me? Um, that's a real shame. <laughs> we can maybe do something with that. Like I don't know. Uh, right. Destroy these poops. Hope for some money here. There you go. Okay, that worked out. And you know what? Bumble, he's a pain in the ass. But I think, we, yeah, we have flight, so it doesn't affect us. So that's good. Uh, we got quite lucky there. That sticky nickel kind of uh, turned my stomach a little bit there, I'll be honest. I was a little sick at the sight of that. But now we're going to get bad options, which is going to provide us some really nice stuff later on. Um, I don't know if it works on every item or just bosses, uh, or just item room, sorry, not just bosses. But we'll, we'll end up seeing, won't we? Uh, we won't end up getting a... Ch oh, no, we will end up getting a charge. I'm wrong. Uh, I'm just going to pop this straight away. I think this is the single dash. That was a very, very bad hit there. I could I could then genuinely perish if I'm not careful. But our oh, crow does a good job. Okay, so... Room stat up when killing enemies, floor stat up when killing mini bosses, permanent stat up when killing bosses. That's a very good item for us. We'll definitely take that. And of course, remember, we want to be heading to um, 
I didn't realize this produced produced actual like little bees for us. This bumble dude, pretty good. Um, some good stuff too there as well. Yeah, of course we're gonna go down here. We actually got a bomb to bomb our mirror as well. Um, getting reflected stuff for this character is gonna be super good. Especially if we can get reflected items. I can't remember. It, let me let me see if I can find out. Actually, I think it's uh, here. If we go over to the um, sewage one, I think it's the splashy we need to turn on as well. Increase um, when mirror is broken. I can't remember what the base chance is. I'll be honest. But uh, reflected items have like a, a low chance to spawn. It's like a two percent chance to replace anything that spawns. I think something like that. Um, and then. Um, Ooh, lag on this room's a little bit high. Um, and then when we have the mirror, I think it ups it by another 7% or something along those lines. I can't remember the exact numbers, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm probably way off with what I'm currently saying, but it's a pretty good increase. It's It, it at least doubles it, I'm pretty sure. At least. So we're going to want to try and keep everything that we've got. By the way, also, I've... Uh, been tweaking the um, the Repentance Plus mod and changing some of the hearts. I think I mentioned it in the last episode, but I'll mention it again. I've made it so that some of the hearts are rarer. Some of them are more common with change functionality. Like those black hearts that give you damage up. Uh, now they only give a half black heart rather than a full black heart and damage. Because I thought there should be some downside to them considering they give you a, a small damage up. Uh, so I've added a little, that. I've made the glitched hearts only give one random heart rather than three random hearts now, which I think is a little more... Like, makes a little more sense. Um, and I think I reduced the chances of a few of the other hearts spawning as well. Um, just just to make it a little more balanced for my personal playstyle. Eventually, there, there's hopefully going to be some um, some config options for those hearts, the developer said. But it is he said it is pretty difficult to add those. So he's going to try his best at some point, but it might take a little while. But here we can see we got a zero quality item. So we can re-roll and actually see what we end up getting here. Um, unfortunately, we got some pretty bad stuff here. Um... Having an empty heart container at the start of the floor. Yeah, so that doesn't matter. Candy heart doesn't matter. And we've got a random. I think we should go for a reroll again, even though we could lose our items. Also, I'm, I'm pretty sure the, the chance to lose items is, is pair item, not like the whole room like Crooked Penny. So we could actually end up um, in a situation where we only lose one of those three items on our reroll, which uh, means it's a little more viable to reroll things. Like that there, look. And we get angry tears. 10% chance to shoot an angry tear whenever an angry tear hits an enemy and otherwise fired towards a close enemy. I like that a lot. Uh, I've, I've not actually used angry tears in a long time. I remember it being quite buggy um, in Ipecac on Afterbirth Plus. But hopefully that's been since ironed out a little bit and it's a little more reliable now. Um, we'll see. But we've got three Ipecac items so far. Angry tears, missing options. Uh, sorry, bad options. And um, Bumble here. That's, that's, that's pretty good. Okay, so we got this dude. Of course we want to bomb him. There we got an angry tear. Okay, yeah, the angry tears seem to work pretty well. I, I love stuff like angry tears. They're really they're really fun in um in Enter the Gungeon and they, they work equally as well in this game. Also, Bumble being absolutely great to us there. Fire rate increases, of course, pretty good for us. We don't have a reroll, unfortunately, going into here. Oh my lord, it's the uh it's the scene. Intriguing. Okay, so, this is tears scale up with how much you move. Uh, I, I don't really want, that's a pretty big speed down that I don't really want. Honestly, this is pretty trash. I'm just going to say no to all of them and just try for an angel deal. Because, yeah, they, they, they were some pretty 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 bad apples there. We, we didn't get anything great. And, yeah, I would take that if I had higher base speed, but I don't, so... Uh, we'll take this. This is a bit of a risk. Oh, we did get a damage up, but that will have only given us a half black heart had we have, um... Had we have actually had HP that we can gain here. But Angry Tears is popping off. I do wonder if it scales with luck. I am feeling like it does, considering as we kill enemies here, our luck is increasing. That's just because of that Chimera item or whatever it was called. Hey, we got a permanent speed upgrade for killing a boss there. And this guy, he can be a little bit of a pain, mainly because he can, like, create poops that then, in turn, have flies on them that hit you. But we have flight, so this isn't as big of an issue as it normally would be. Honestly, we're not using our bombs for anything either, so let's get in there with some damage. We need to be really on it with the, um, with the spawns. 
Oh god, oh god, oh god. That was close. Yeah, when, when he spawns enemies, that little spinning attack he does is based on how many uh, little dips there are. And as you saw before, you can sling them around real fast. We got another permanent speed upgrade. Because at, at this point, I would have actually been okay with taking Athlete's Foot. But honestly, we didn't know we were about to get what we just got, so... But yeah, boss trap rooms are going to be incredible if they're giving us permanent stat increases. So yeah, like this, we're going we're gonna to bomb this mirror here. Um, I know we could have got an extra item if we'd have left that until later. But I'm happy to do that now. Um, and that's now put us in a position where we should hopefully see a few more reflected items and get some freebies here and there. Even if it's just consumables, I'd still be very, very happy with it. Honestly, Bumble's doing a great job right now, I have to say. Uh, we'll open that up. Hey, I've got a tears up again. Pop in here. Okay, we got the old, the old lost item there. But we'll reroll that. And we got Dirty Mind. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with Dirty Mind. I didn't actually know as well. Dirty Mind does make poops show up more often. I wasn't aware of this for a while. But um, on the later floors that you wouldn't normally see poops on, it actually places extra poops. So you are getting, a, I think it just has a chance to replace certain rocks with poop or something. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, like it's, you don't have to worry about Dirty Mind becoming more useless later on. Because the game kind of has a fallback option for that. As you can see, there's a rock there that's become a poop. So we should still be able to keep a decent, a decent um, fund of, uh, of poopy boys following us. And they're, they're actually pretty useful. I, th there is scenarios in which, I can't, I can't be really careful here. There is scenarios in which they can be a little problematic and like bounce enemies in towards you and stuff. But for the most part, they're pretty good. Right, this is a pretty hard room here. Let's, uh... I'm gonna say, yeah. Let's just keep to one side while the explosions go off. And we got this guy again. We just fought this dude, so we've... You see what I mean there? I, I didn't knock that bomb away. I'm pretty sure that was my poops. I am gonna use a few bombs on this guy. I don't, I don't want to use them at all, but... Oh, nice. This guy is actually just giving us familiars. <laughs> I didn't realize that there. A hey, perfections here. Good, good. Um, and honestly, I'm willing to reroll both of these. And you know what? Synth oil's pretty heckin' good. But another good thing about bad options is now we've got high reflected item chance. There's actually more of a chance of us getting a reflected item because every item is spawning an additional one. Now, one thing I'm unclear of is once we've seen all of the uh, low tier items, what happens then? Also, we just got incredibly lucky. So we got two bloody rocks here. And of course, we've seen that happen multiple times before. But something to think about, actually, is that um, it used to be a 25% chance for a for a rock to become a... For a spike rock to become a tinted spike rock. It lowered down to 12.75, um, or 12.5, sorry, and I lowered it even further to 10%. So it's not that likely anymore. Um, so that's actually kind of lucky for us to get two rocks next to each other like that. Kind of crazy, actually. Uh, I'm gonna pop both of them open because they're very valuable. We got another cracked key. The cracked keys are just crazy. Um, I gotta say I don't really mind if we uh, if we whiff our cracked keys. I'm not gonna try really really hard to get um, all the best stuff out of them. We did, however, get ourselves a red room, which we know to be pretty valuable. This is a hard room, but luckily. Holy Mantle is now a one second, um, one second iframe buff, so one free devil item. Ooh, sounds good. But yeah, I don't, if, if, um, if Angry Tears is scaling on luck, we've now got quite a lot of luck. But you should see here, there you go, look, reflected, we get the double. Good, good, good. I like that quite a bit. Oh, having flight when there's dumpies in the room. Takes away all that fear. Hey, so there's a glitched heart. So now, as you can see, it just spawned the one heart. I actually upped that from a 1% chance to replace any heart to a 5% chance. So they're a bit more common. Not crazy common, but they're a bit more common. But they are nowhere near as good. <laughs> God damn, we are getting some bad stuff here. Uh, I'm going to try re-rolling. And do you know what? Let's just, let's just suck up both of those. In fact, it looks like the, we got a, a very regular fly there. Bit unfortunate. But yeah, that, that was a pretty pretty sad state for our items there. I'm going to go back and get that other red rune, which was here. Yep. Unfortunately, red runes show, um, show up as cards on the map. It'd be nice if um, 
the developer were to add in... Whoa! Hello. Um, it'd be nice if the developer was to add in um, the IED... No, not IED, sorry. Uh, the minimap API extras to that. Do you know what? I don't even know why I'm doing this. Because I can't bomb the carpet. But I've already done it now. Yeah, we, we, we need another bomb to bomb that carpet there. Oh, I need to be going to my care rooms. I've been forgetting to do that. I might have missed one or two here or there. Wow, this is a pretty good luck with our items so far. But yeah, when, once we exhaust the uh, zero quality item pool, I really don't know what's going to happen after that point. But yeah, we have a very good build here, and Angry Bullets is also popping off. I'm probably going to keep calling it Angry Bullets by accident. Just because that's what the Enter the Gungeon item is, and I'm sure that it's based off of that. Do you have another boss trap room here? So this is an interesting one. This is, of course, a reflected item. We could get two of the magic eight balls, which I think we'll do. But we won't take them. And then we'll re-roll and unfortunately get a health up. Which I'll uh, just suck up. That was unfortunate. But yeah, as you saw, the reflected item that spawned actually did spawn um, <laughs> another zero quality item. So we have quite a large opportunity to get quite a few items by doing this. But yeah, we got ourselves a few a few locusts, which aren't going to be that influential, but they took items that were kind of trashy and at least gave us something a little better out of them, so that's not a bad thing at all. Uh, but we do have another bomb now as well, so let's go and uh, get our black market going. That would be rather nice. Okay. So, we're getting a little unlucky with our uh, Eternal D6 re-rolling stuff pretty often. But it's okay. That's another glitched heart. That gave us a black heart that time. And as you see, they're just a little more exciting and a little less overpowered. Another reflected. A reflected nickel as well. Wow. I should not have done this room. I can't back out of it now, unfortunately. I'm going to do my boss first before I go back and reroll that item. Honestly, I've been loving Bumble. He's been doing a great job for us so far. And just generally, we've been, like, slapping. This is a great run. It's a pretty, like, average run. It's just really good stats. We'll definitely take the stapler. We get our first angel deal here. What the hell? We got Job's family. Um... Spawns Jove's wife and three familiars that closely orbit. Wife fires uh, two plus damage tier. Junior fires zero point with 25% chance to poison. Boy fires uh, that goes through enemies and rocks. Gale fires with a 10% chance of being... Okay, that's pretty interesting. I kind of like the idea behind it. But I think we ought to just take this. Because it's just double damage and we're never going to lose it. The one problem we have here, of course, is I'd love to be able to bomb our dude here and get some extra out of that. But... Sadly not. Let's go uh, re-roll that one item again. Yeah, Crown of Light with this much damage is just too good not to take. But yeah, I might end up finding that 5% on the glitched hearts is a little too little too common. But we'll see. <laughs> Jacob's Lad is a great item. This is a very good run. <laughs> and like, it started off quite modded, but it's kind of turned itself into quite a vanilla run. We've not got any really wacky modded stuff going on, apart from really the, the sort of kooky interaction we've got going on with uh, bad options. Bad options with re-rolling. It's, it's, so, it's so fun. Okay, sadly that's not going to do anything for us. God damn, we are wrecking things up now. Absolutely. Oh, we get some golden dips too. Hello. I don't know what the gulping sound is. Oh, hello. Oh my god. So many dippies. So many dippies. That was kind of funny. I, I do need to see if I can if I can like fix the error with uh with the map doing this. Look, you can see that. We've uh, got kind of a weird thing where our item list is really low down because the map's pretty large. I don't know if there's a particular way to stop it from doing that because it is kind of annoying. There's a luck penny in here, apparently. Grab that. There you go. 
Okay, there you go. I did it. I got rid of the. I, I got rid of the timer and fixed our item list. It's a bit weird when it does that. Just some strange minimap API thing going on. Another reflected nickel. Wow. It's not actually that good for us. I'll be honest. Uh, I'm just gonna play this guy out. Because the thing is, he's gonna spawn two items and we can re-roll them. And we get baby, baby, baby. Spawns a baby that spawns a baby that spawns a baby. <laughs> yeah, let's go for it. Baby, baby, baby's pretty cool. I like baby, baby, baby. Good, good. But yeah, this uh, this this build got pretty nuts pretty fast, didn't it? <laughs> I mean, Crown of Light really took it over the edge, but it was already pretty nuts. I'm liking all these stat ups we're getting as well. Do you know what? Really? You're gonna give me Cursed Eye again? Pretty rude. I will be re-rolling that. Come back to me, cursed ah, you're gone again. And it's an active. Lovely. Gotta love that, haven't you? Dot diggity damn. We are destroying. Jacob's uh, ladder really tipped this build over the edge. It was already very good. <laughs> right, another reroll for you. Yep, I'm just going to take it. I'm, I can't be asked spending ages going back and forth rerolling items. I'm just going to take it. And I say we've got other things to reroll, potentially at least. Probably want to reroll those. Ow, I did actually get hit there. That was kind of close. You got the bionic arm, and I think that's an active. Yeah, possum ear. Robotic arm's kind of interesting, because you do get a pretty big damage up from it, but it's not all that worthwhile for us right now. Just stay sort of in our assembly of poop boys, and enemies can't touch us, or at least have a very hard time doing so. Right. Sci-fly, hello. <laughs> Puts us in a good spot, doesn't it? Puts us in a very good spot, doesn't it? Right. Not really been looking for secret rooms all that much. I probably should be a little bit, but we're kind of at the point now where we're wrecking stuff so easily that I don't really need to. Can reroll these. Ooh, golden flakes will turn our trinket into a golden trinket and give us bonus look. And I mean, honestly, the fact that we just got golden bombs probably means we should check for a secret room at least briefly. I doubt it'll be here, but I gotta check. It is, okay. Pay into this guy. You really need more than this. I don't think we can get any other charges anywhere, but I guess I'll just keep that going anyways. Right, let's look for the normal secret room as well. Can't be here. It's got to be down all the way down this way. In fact, I think I know where it is. I think it is between these rooms here. Oh, no, it's not. Could be between these rooms instead. No, it's not. Could be down here then instead. There you go. We did get a Soul of Eden. Pretty happy with that. Uh, Justice card as well. Justice. Yeah, we'll take the Soul of Eden, be on our way. I think Soul of Eden's actually really, really good with the setup we got going on right now. But yeah, I love Golden Flakes just for the fact that you can turn a held trinket gold. I think that's so useful and such a such a cool idea. Like, we're up to 25 luck now. I, I hope we get some more luck-based tier effects just because it's going to get so nutty. It's going to get so, so nutty. But yeah, this is... If, if ever I've heard one, this is a run that we can uh, kind of <laughs> stop talking about Isaac so much and talk about other shit. But it's kind of like a weird thing where you kind of get into the groove with Isaac where you end up talking about... Um, you end up talking about the, the, the game so much more when you're having a good run because you're like kind of excited about it. Especially runs like this where it's got some modded potential and stuff. So let's Soul of Eden these. Guppy's Soul's pretty good. And I don't know what the hell just killed you, but it was a fast kill. Yeah, I think Guppy's uh, Guppy's soul 
is kind of incredible. I've got the permanent stat upgrades there. Um, because our flies are just going to be dealing mad damage. Mad damage. Ooh, we also got the Urn of Want. Charged by killing monsters upon use... Gives the effect of a random pill, random card, and spawns a random pickup. Kind of interesting, but I'm going to try re-rolling. Um, I think I'm going to keep... I know that it's risky because these are secret room items, but I'm going to keep trying to re-roll these and get something a little bit better. I think it's uh, worth a lot to do so. Uh, but yeah, at the minute, I've been kind of being on like a somewhat healthy eating trend to try and uh, just generally have a better diet. Respawn as a random character on death. That's pretty good for the lost. I'll take that. Um, hopefully that doesn't have any major bugs or crashes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been trying, sort of going on a bit more of a healthy eating trend. I, I tend to be reasonably good at dieting and then I eventually just kind of get bored and fall back into old habits. I don't know how many of you out there like throughout COVID have like put on extreme weight or just some weight and trying to get it off. It's... It's not an easy thing, especially in a situation like mine where I work from home. It's like, even when there's not food in the house, I've got like a Tesco's right next to me, a Subway and a Greg's next to me. I got like all the things I need to be fat really close to my house and a takeaway. There's just all sorts of options for me to be fat very close by. Um, and yeah, it's uh, it is difficult. Like I, I've done it a few times now where I, I've done the keto diet. I don't know how many of you have heard of that, but... Um, it's a pretty, it's a reasonably unhealthy diet, to be honest. It's not something that people should um, should maintain for a long time. It's uh, it's not really great for you. But essentially, the diet is where you cut out every semblance of carbs, all carbs that you possibly can, and replace them with fats, which sounds kind of counterintuitive to eat more fats to lose more weight. But if you cut out carbs, essentially, it ends up meaning, ooh, good item. Um, essentially, it ends up meaning, meaning that you um, that you end up burning fat first rather than using like energy from food you've eaten, and it works really well to burn it off. But it's it's kind of difficult to do. You've got to like do quite a few. I don't know why I even bombed that. You got to do quite a few specific things to to make it work. And like I said, it's not very sustainable because there generally isn't that many foods you can eat, um, and especially living with my girlfriend, I can't really. I, I do all the cooking. I can't really force her to do a diet just because I want to do it. So it, it does make it a little hard to do now. But like back when I was in university and living at home, it was a little easier for me. Um, and I did it for about two months. And I lost about a stone and a half, which is quite a lot um, for that short amount of time. And I basically, I did it for um, for my graduation. I wanted to look good in my graduation suit for uh, for my pictures, which I ended up, at least I think, looking decent. Um, I lost a decent amount of weight for it, and my suit fit well and stuff, so I was pretty happy with myself. Um, but yeah, uh, basically, you've got to, like... I, I did quite a lot of research on it when I did it. You've got to, like, enter a state of ketosis, I think it's called which is why it's called the keto diet, uh, which essentially is where you you cut out all the carbs for around about a week or two weeks before it starts taking effect. And it's kind of interesting because like on a lot of diets, you cut out like sugary foods or like snacky foods like crisps or chocolate. But the problem is that you usually desperately crave them. Um, you usually end up like really wanting them and it can it's a lot of the time where people sort of give up on diets because they end up craving the food that they want a lot, which is fair enough. Uh, but keto is very strange in the fact that normally, like, you cut out some of your favorite foods because you got to think, I don't know if you've ever looked how many carbs are in things, but there are tons of carbs in, in of course, bread. Like, the obvious ones are, like, bread, rice, pasta. They're the obvi obvious, uh, like, pastries. They're, like, the obvious large carb things that you can think of. But sugar has tons of carbs in it. Even natural sugars, like fruit, has tons of carbs in it. Like, there, there, there is carbs in everything. So, you have to cut a lot of different foods out. But if you can manage to stick with it for like a week and a half, it'll actually make you feel a bit ill. Like, you, you generally end up um, not feeling very well after doing it. Usually because if you... Well, it, only if you eat a lot of carbs normally. But if you go from like your normal diet of, of sort of regularly having carbs, or at least them being sort of a 
a large part of your diet to having none. It'll be like a really big shock to your system and it'll make you a little bit ill for about the first like week, which obviously sounds really counterintuitive. It sounds like it's a really bad idea. But if you get past that, you get to you get into the state of ketosis where your body realizes what's going on and starts using those those additional fats. Ooh, nine lives. Uh, starts using those additional fats as um, as a way of fueling you um, instead of trying to use the carbs. Because basically, for that first week, it's trying to use carbs and there's none to use, so it doesn't know what to do, which means you feel low energy and you feel kind of fatigued, and that's kind of why you feel ill. But as soon as your body kind of catches on and goes like, ah, cool, we can use these fat supplements for um, for energy instead. I don't know why we're getting so many ex uh, like sad bomb explosions. Um... Really? Is is this how you're going to play this game? I guess. Wouldn't really think of that as an angel item, but I'll take it. Um But yeah, and, and you get to, you get to that point where your body sort of realizes what's going on and then you like you all your cravings for carbs or at least for me just were gone. I didn't need sugar. I didn't need bread. Like, normally I'm a fiend for eating bread and, like, pastries. I'm not that bad on sugar. I don't crave sugar too much. But, like, bread products, things like that, pasta especially, like, they're big craving foods for me. And, yeah, all of that just disappeared. It just stopped. Um, and I ended up feeling a lot better. I was waking up feeling very refreshed. Um, oh, don't pick up those items. Uh, yeah, I ended up feeling, like, feeling very refreshed and, like, awake and aware sort of thing. Um, and, yeah, then the weight starts, like, absolutely dropping off but as i said the problem with it is completely removing a staple of your diet for a long period of time is not a good idea at all it is not very healthy um and it, <laughs> if you do it for a long period of time it's going to kind of mess you up so basically you've got to kind of do keto in like short bursts of like a few months at a time just to like do some rapid weight loss and then go back to a more sustainable and stable diet after that that's probably secret room, right? Nope. Okay. Like, none of these rooms can be red keyed? What the hell? What's going on here? Where's, like, the, my red key areas? There's none. Why do I have such high fire rate anyways? What happened there? I do not know what happened there at all. Collective chest. Okay. Keep this going. But yeah, oh, bloody hell. It was a kind of an interesting uh, interesting experience to do, but like I said, it's, it's something that I would like to do again, just because I was reasonably good at it and managed it pretty well. Like, you've got to eat a pretty basic diet, which is another reason it's not very sustainable, because you're kind of eating a lot of the same foods, which means... Um... Ooh, that was close. Uh, you're eating a lot of the same foods, which kind of means that you, um, you get bored of it pretty quick. Um... And yeah, yeah, you can get quite tired of, of eating the same foods. But... I would like to do it again. It's just it's just kind of impossible to do when you live with someone that you also cook for because I don't want to like force the diet onto onto Katie because she doesn't need it. Like she's she's reasonably like reasonably healthy and like <laughs> a good weight, so it's not really necessary. But at the minute, I've just kind of been trying to like sort of force myself to cut down on portion sizes and like just making generally healthier choices. Like I went to Subway today and instead of getting a sandwich. Um, Instead of getting a sandwich, I ended up getting a salad, which is obviously a lot better because it's no bread. Um, and just kind of trying to make choices like that throughout. That is Tech X. Do we actually want Tech X? Let's 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 decide. Cherry friends, killing enemy has a twenty percent chance to drop a cherry familiar on the ground. These cherries emit uh, charming farts. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna red rune all of them and see what I get. I, I got a basic wisp, uh, a basic locust again. Um, damage up pair familiars. That's good. Shame we didn't actually get anything there. Ooh, if you don't have any red heart containers or burn hearts, 
we'd lose 20 luck, but at the same time, we'd gain insane tier rate. Do you know what? I think it's worth it considering our luck is 12.5. Spawn a random item from a random pool if you have a chance of giving you broken hearts based on the quality of the item. Anti-grav. The Pale. I'm going to take the pail. I know it seems like an odd choice, but we can get a lot of dippies of, of various varieties, which I think is funny. Right, take that. Do I want that, or do I want rock spy, um, rocksmith spawn spiders when broken? I'm going to take that instead. Tech X is good, but I, I, I'm pretty happy with our tiers right now, and I'm guessing angry tiers wouldn't work anyways. And the thing is, we've got Sci-Fly going into this, so it should be reasonably okay. I don't think we need the extra damage from Tech X. What's going on with my damage right now? What on earth is going on with my damage right now? Why is it, like, fluctuating so rapidly? Do I have... Oh, I think... Yeah. I just realized my damage doubled because I have um, strawberry... Uh, I think I have strawberry milkshake as... Uh, strawberry milk as my um, Lemmageddon Wisp. So I should be tap shooting, really, which is a little inconvenient, but it works out considering we've doubled our damage. I'm pretty happy with it, I'll be honest. I wonder if the tears from sad bombs also break tier cap, or also break boss damage cap, because the bombs do. We have annihilated this guy. Also, what on earth is going on with this astral projection thingy? It's going nuts. Oh, can you stop going underground, you fat bastards? It's so annoying when this guy just like constantly goes underground. I really don't think he should. Like, there should be a limit to how many times he can do that in a fight, because it's really annoying when he just keeps doing it. There you go, we got him. Pretty easy fight there. Up we go. 10 fire rate, my god. Diet, yeah, dieting's just a weird thing in general. It's like, you've got to find a balance of something that you can stick to on the regular, but that helps sort of more, in a more immediate sense. Ooh, enemies become more aggressive, spawn extra room rewards from clearing rooms. I don't know about that. It, I, I think it could be valuable. Let's uh, let's try it out. Yeah, do you know what? Already proving valuable because we got a double chest, which means on the chest that'll be really good. Yeah, double chest again. I love the fact that we're able to get all these reflected things. The pale. Oh my god, I did not consider the amount of rock spiders that would spawn. Uh, this is a pretty interesting little synergistic thing we've got going on here, isn't it? Oh my. <laughs> That's a lot of spideys. My spidey senses are tingling. But yeah, more, more spawns at the end of rooms mean more chance for reflected things, more chance for reflected chests, reflected items. It's all good stuff. Ooh, another glitch heart there. Not that we need them, but I like checking them to see what we get. But yeah, I think that's a much much more elegant solution to the glitched hearts than the uh, the one that's currently in uh, Repentance Plus that's just like obscenely overpowered, even if it is rare. Something being rare, to, in my opinion, doesn't excuse it being really overpowered. It can in certain cases, but a lot of the time that's not really a good excuse. We did uh, lose our Holy Mantle there very quickly. A lot of these rocks have turned hot as well. I didn't realize that. Can, can we stop accidentally spawning more enemies, please? Thank you. My lord. 
Away they go. There goes my hero. Right. Let's just go use the pail again in another large room before we stop having, um... What's it called? Rock spawning rooms. Yeah, there's a good room for it. I love the noise it makes. Let's go! This has been just a crazy run through and through this, hasn't it? Crazy run through and through. In we go. We'll check what items we get. We've got no chance to reroll them this time, unfortunately, so bad options isn't going to come into play quite as much. But it's still good. Oh, we did get a mega chest, though. Muramycosis, good with luck. Explosiva, good with luck. Chili Bean is unfortunately terrible. We did get a crow to replace it, that's fine. You're really going to take all my keys here? Bitch, please. Oh, this room does have rocks. Y'all people need to stop placing rocks on this floor. <laughs> it's not okay. It's not, they're not meant to be here. Technology? Um, I don't really want technology, I don't think. Cause we, we've angry, I doubt it'll work with Angry Tears. And Angry Tears is kind of popping off right now. But yeah, room creators out there. It's not really a big deal. But like, it'd be cool if you just like, followed the rules that the game sets for items. You know. I think that'd be cool. I see you there, you cheeky bastard. Oh, the Angry Tears sprite is like, real heckin' glitched right now. I didn't realize that before. Ah! Ah! What is happening? We just got some rapid spiders going on. What on earth is going on with these spiders, man? Whoopsie. Give me that speed up, boy. We're getting so many fucking items. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, Angry Tears is going all sorts of wacky. Oh, nice. That wasn't very many poops at all. So many items here, goddamn. Yeah, this trinket's doing uh, God's work right now. Look at it, it's so glitched. It seems like if it's a cricket's body shot, like a split shot, um, the angry tear kind of, kind of has a bit of a meltdown. Dead eye, hello, hello. My goodness. This is some real crazy shit. Um... Honestly, yes, for all the items that we just have lying around right now. Is there a secret room here or here? Okay, not, not a good time to place a bomb. It, it worked somehow. Apparently, I can hit myself. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that, but I did just damage myself, I'm pretty sure. Why do we have 132 damage? When did that happen? I do not know when that happened. What is happening? There's another chest spawned in here, apparently. Yeah. Fuck it, why not? Giners. Probably should have taken glass cannon, actually. Thinking about it. Would have been pretty good, but this build is already uh, pretty pretty good already, I'd say. 
That's so bright and colourful. That's going to be pretty nutty. Oh my lord. Yeah, please, uh, please update this to make it only do this while firing. <laughs> it's like, it's great. It's strong, but it is kind of, kind of crazy. I don't even know what my oldest passive item was. I, I genuinely don't know, but I feel like it's worth removing considering I, I doubt it'll affect this build in any noticeable way. Ooh, really gave us some good stuff there. Thank you. I mean, now we're in a situation where this kills an entire room. <laughs> Doing a few little spin arounds kills an entire room. Or just standing there and doing nothing. We did get a void portal. I mean, you know we're going to take it. You know we're going to take it. At this stage as well, we really couldn't care less. Oh, we did um, we did seem to lose a lot of our damage. We're no longer at 132. Not that it probably matters, but still. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Keep it moving. Somehow try and place a bomb that doesn't get flung into the stratosphere. Ow. I got hit again. A lot of these hits I just can't explain. No one can. Thank you, Gideon. I do like that Gideon item that just destroys those things. I find this so funny. Ooh, death sacrifice is kind of interesting. I'm just going to suck it up though, I think. Death. Thank you for dying. Squeezy, more fire it, please. Oh my god, it actually let us get some more fire it. It wasn't much, but it was fire it. Get me some rock boys. I don't even know what's going on anymore. I can barely keep track. Hey, another revive, why not? <laughs> just in case. Just in case the 10 that we already have wasn't enough. Here's an 11. Right. I'm gonna be a little bit lost on where to go here, I'll admit. We'll try our best. Right, just try and make a way towards whatever. Oh, there's a big mole boy. I see you, mole boy. You're pretty cool looking. You think you're tough, though, and you're not. I, I've, I've not fired in a while, by the way. <laughs> hey, Conquest. How are you doing? Foot bombs. I think we just abyss. Right. Keep it going, keep it running, try and find another boss to kill. It makes so much noise, especially with uh, with Jacob's Ladder. It's just making so much noise. We did get a secret room in here, apparently. Which is going to be impossible to place a bomb on, so I might, not, I might as well not even try, I'll be honest. It's going to be way too difficult to actually place a bomb where I want it to go. go. Up, up, up we go. Ooh, I forgot about these things. I, I love some of these tainted enemies. They're so cool. Ow. We lost the Holy Mantle a few times here, but not too much. Hey. Gimme, gimme. This'll probably be Delirium, right? You'd think. I'd think at least. Yeah, there you go. Right, we can start firing again now. 
Not that it really matters. I think our lasers are uh, more than capable. Honestly, this might kind of be a hard fight. Just because we're not going to be able to see much. And if he hits us, we lose our holy mantle. And we don't really have... There's not much to come back. I and mean, we have a lot of lives. So we'll be able to do it eventually. I'm just saying, like, if this dude decides to telefrag us, it is going to be a little tricky. Like, we, we can't really see the tears he's firing at us right now. Like, at all. So, in that regard, we could be in trouble. But, as long as we don't get, like, badly telefragged, or if what just happened there... Um, what's it called? Uh, tooth and Nail. Is it called Tooth and Nail? Saves our life. Yeah, yeah, I see your feet. He's... We just wanted to teleport back to his uh, regular form, because in his regular form, he doesn't have that massive damage resistance. Uh, Sci-Fly is, of course, doing a very good job of keeping us safe. That's another thing. Like, really, Telefrags are the biggest way we're going to get hurt now. Or Explosive Shots. They could still hurt us pretty bad. But Sci-Fly is going to take care of the most of it, so... In that regard, that's not so bad, but there you go. This was it. That was actually very, very easy. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this absolutely crazy lost run. Um, just remember, bad options ain't bad. <laughs> bad options gives you some good options, is, is what I'll say. Bad options is kind of uh, a little bit busted when you have the ability to reroll. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.